Hello, my gorgeous soul. Thank you so much for being here. You have something on your mind and you want a clarity. Hence, you stopped scrolling. Hence, you clicked on here. Let's find out. This is a collective reading, but it doesn't matter. Take what resonates. But something's heavy in your heart. Something that you really want to know. Six of Pentacles, where to get the money. Someone is really in need for income. Something maybe clearing debts, clearing invoices, clearing bills that has coming in. But you know what? Here's your sign. What you need, not what you want, what you need is on its way. And I could literally say <laughs> the reading is over. I could, but I don't think you're going to be happy with that. The money that you need, the opportunity that you wanted, that materialistic twist and turn going your way is happening. Things are starting to come into your hand. And it's so interesting. If you see, in, like, in the Keeper, even as well, there's, like, unexpected income, you know. And this is similar kind of energy because, you know, the hand is underneath here. And the coins have not yet touched the hand yet, the palm. So the money is coming. Someone has the money. They're holding it. And they're letting it go. Okay, so money is energy. So this opportunity, this money, this whatever it is, is on its way to your palm. You don't feel it yet in your bank account. You don't feel it yet in your hands. But you need to know that it's on its way. Okay, so it is. All right, let's have a look at a little bit of your past for why you had this issue. I'm going to use this other deck for now. Uh, I'm going to clarify the past. Four pentacles. Okay. Money. So this is money. This is seven of pentacles underneath. Okay, those this is like really grounded, really earthly uh energy. However, it's very stuck. It kind of feels like have you stuck in the ways of living? Have you stuck in ways the way you work? Four pentacles is really in a typical tarot where lady or gent is <clears throat> excuse me holding on to four pentacles and one of the pentacles is actually like a crown so one or you have made the money as it this is it this is why i live this is what i do and it's like money is the king no money is just the means you know money is just an energy have you made money this massive um like a god or something you know i know you might say i need to pay bills and i hear you but are you just chasing for sake of it? Because even the Four of Pentacles is kind of like, okay, you're holding on to. Or is it kind of like you're stuck in ways you don't know how to increase it? Okay. And here is the kind of answer saying now, you there's something the, the doors are opening. There's something flowing finally. Okay. But interestingly still, we have four and six, which is very um, stuck numbers. They're not flowing. Like, as, as if, like, you're working, you're paying bills, you're working, you're paying bills, and there's nothing extra left, you know? you Maybe you want to upgrade your car, go on holiday, do whatever you need to do. Maybe you let the kids go to college or even retire. But it kind of feels like it's the same, or 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 same. And, you know, uh, and it's kind of like been the same for some time. What else is happening in the past? Two ones. Really? Oh, my... You have been trying, like in God is the witness, you've been trying to justice. Okay, so it could be so that you had some unexpected um, expenses, okay? And you felt like, mm, this isn't fair, okay? And two, again, they're kind of stuck, even numbers. It's like, there's no flow. With the two ones as well, is like, the person in typical tarot is standing on top of the castle. And the one wand is in the castle, okay, kind of cemented, okay, here to stay. And the other one is you're planning to 
place is somewhere you're planning to invest somewhere okay but the energy is like you're still standing you're still waiting or planning okay this is ever so just want to put on this a bit more strength Hmm, King of Pentacles, Eight Okay, so that is good. Okay, what I saw here was uh King of Pentacles and Eight of Cups. So Eight of Cups is card of I'm fed up. I'm fed up with this situation. And when especially strength comes in in this kind of play, that means that you were put in a situation or life happened where you were finally kind of pushed in a corner or you felt like lowest of a low or you felt like you know what i might take a risk and see what happens because life is pushing you because you have not been pushing yourself and as as unpleasant in my sound it is so true and life is the universe is saying i brought you this storm so you start to wake up because you have so much potential that you are not actually using as what you're using is one percent i want you to do better than that Strength is Leo. Okay. So it could be so from <clears throat> month of August, this is timeless reading, it doesn't matter. But it could be from the month of August. You might felt like <clears throat> things have been really uncomfortable and I'm, you were trying to get comfortable, but universe is really trying to uh push you into something bigger, challenging you so you grow. Okay, let's have a look at your future. So where are you going? Hmm. Okay. Page of cups. Pages and messengers. I'm gonna clarify this here. Oh, these three cards coming up. <clears throat> we have justice, oh, hierophant, and three of swords. I just heard. Don't be upset. Don't be uh, sad. But there is some real karmic lesson happening. And when you feel that there's a heartbreak, is this because you are new to something or someone has really broken your heart or some sort of um, maybe legal system or something else has not served the way you wanted it? But that has happened for a reason. So you can actually start to rebuild yourself. And this is this comes with a message. You have been very closed off and and it, this is not just a relationship wise, but you have been really stuck in ways, in your own ways. And it's time to that wheel rolling. I want to clarify the situation. Some of, you, some of you might actually split up with someone. Okay, these two are coming up. Thank you. Eight of swords in their own. And you know what? And that will... Okay, I'm going to tell you something here. Some of you could foresee divorce, divorce application, breakup. But I'll tell you now. This is a blessing. Okay. Because... It was, you were kind of wrapped in, you were literally stuck in the situation, which was originally started fine. Oh, great. Could be Capricorn. Doesn't have to be a sign. Yeah, that's fine. But it could be that this, there was some sort of, there was a lot of chemistry. There was something else. It could be even work or job that maybe was paying you money, but you were feeling stuck. You were feeling dead inside. You were not growing. You were not able to um, progress. Okay. And maybe this company going bust and you're feeling like, oh, they're doing redundancies and you feel like, oh my God, what I'm going to be doing now. But this is the push that you needed. Okay. You might get some redundancy, you might get some payoff, but finally you're going to be free from this toxic or uh, kind of um, unhealthy place. What else is happening? Wow. We have two cups. <laughs> We have Ace of Wands and Ten of Cups. Things happen for a reason. And trust me, 
this is going to happen very quickly. I'm seeing number eight is a lot of majors you're having here. So that means like it's not just you are doing, but universe is doing a lot of stuff here as well. Ace of Ace of Cups, two two aces. Sorry, two of Cups is really um, you might get some. Um, you will land well. You could get some another new offers that match what you wanted. But with Ace of Wands, I feel like there's a new fire coming in. It, there could be even a fresh new person coming in your life. It could be as well that there's a fresh new, some sort of a movement, okay? Ten of Cups is real happy, happy, happy. Like coming away from that grounded, too, too grounded or too stuck in a ways. Um, it turns into like uplifting those. Look at how those cups are flying. Uplift, the emotions being uplifted, okay? So that's what I'm seeing here, which is great. Okay, there's a four cups and these five pentacles. There's still something lingering around you for some reason. There's some sort of uh, re a remembering past as if the past was so sugar-coated. Do, do not sugarcoat your past. Past, I mean, do you do not sugarcoat your past. Do not sugarcoat things because not everything was healthy and not everything was... It kind of felt that you were stuck and you were unable to express yourself. Either you were unable to um be who you truly are and this is your once in a lifetime opportunity uh you might not see that way at the beginning because we had the three of swords here but this is going to bring you um kind of opening for you which you, you might not able to see before okay uh let's do a couple more oracle cards as well for um for guidance for you taking shelter the answers are within that is so interesting i like this card because it reminds me of Hermit, maybe you do need retreat. It's really, really Christmassy, and I'm filming in at the end of September, and not long till Christmas. But you know what? If you feel sad, if you feel there's a hole within you, sit with that emotion. Okay, don't eat it, don't drink it, but sit with it. Stepping into power, you are strong beyond measure. Again, look at this person's holding a an, an, um, a lantern. It, this is like a like the star, like the northern star. This northern star is calling you. It, everything is happening for a reason. But I feel like you are going to, into a new um, area of life in kind of new chapter. And you might be feeling lonely for a little bit. You are not alone. You are not alone. You're not lonely. But you might feel that way because you are used to that old, even though it was unhealthy, but you're used to that, okay? So you were kind of maybe looking for the same patterns. But patterns are, ch are changing. So let's have a look at the keeper has to say for you family room coffin house yeah it kind of feels um uh, there's a lot of endings happening courthouse again it kind of feels oh okay you can't see it um i that i do feel like there's some changes where you live where you work even and there's some could be someone even revealed we have the courthouse here as well um imprisonment and that is what's definitely what the eight of swords is rep representing that kind of feel no uh feel, you, one was feeling uh tied to certain contracts or feeling unable to to move but when a child comes in this is new opportunity hence you have the ace of wands this is super super cool um what else is happening here we go education and what's happening okay you i feel like you are gaining sort your powers back okay as if like someone's giving you power back yeah here's your power back um <laughs> that's probably not gonna happen in literally in the um maybe courthouse but it could be as well some of you might have a uh, some sort of contract issues or something like that or uh you may have you might have felt that you were obliged to do certain things, which was not true. And it was now finally cleared out, okay? Uh, could this well someone is having um, dealings with uh, family uh, lawyers or disputes over children or um, custodies or anything like that? Uh, here we go. Men, female. I feel like it doesn't matter if it's male or female who is going to win, but it kind of feels like that. She's standing. She's ready to go, okay? So she's really... If she's not uh hiding and or tucked away behind the seat and cushion you know holding a cushion she's standing and and being proud of who she's really are and um, it kind of feels as well that there's a new beginning so this definitely with the child being here as well um some sort of dream is born as well so let's have a look what the earth interestingly i chose i chose the earth wisdom uh deck and we had so many pentacles here we were talking about the earthy um or earthbound let's say earthbound 
issue so what you need to know divine love relief responsibility and strengths we had the strengths here or the oh um cards are flipping um we have strengths twice so that is i like to say this here if you look at this card here i'm going to show something this is that hand and this man is giving okay holding out as if like you're climbing up and someone is giving you a hand please come i'll give you a hand I'm, I'm like yes you need something maybe you need to travel maybe you need to move house and you need the money something else whatever you need some sort of help this is materialistic this is something realistic it's not just it's kind of pie in the sky or some sort of promise this is real okay your hand is coming here and someone is going to give you that hand someone's going to give you hair support as well but you need to take some responsibility for certain things responsibility for your past and your decisions not to be harsh and not to be um judgy but um this is happening for a reason okay relief is very as well much of um energy of letting go letting go of whatever was there you move into the new mountain you it's like an obstacle mountains are obstacles and you, someone is really helping you here there is a guide or person or god or whatever that is or your angels are supporting you you are not alone and you never are and you will never be because all is well and you are amazing there I hope this helps. Let me know in the comment section what's going on, if this resonates. And if you feel like it does, please like, please subscribe to get the new one reminder and notification. If, if you know someone who is struggling as well, please share with them so they can get back on the saddle and they can be more empowered to make their own decisions as well. But for now, I'm sending you love and light and abundance. <laughs> and I shall see you in the next reading. Take care, my lovelies.